Hi, welcome to another new video. So in today's video, I would be doing a quick uh, first impression kind of videos for things that I bought, uh, but you know, like, but I still haven't really tested tested yet. But just to show you guys what I have. So this is a pen that I just bought. This is um, Conklin. Uh, it's a Durograph Rainbow, and it's a special edition pen. It says the Rainbow Omniflex. It's a special edition special edition pen from Conklin. Conklin. So Conkling is a it's a pen maker in the States. It is established in 1880, 1898. Alright. Um, and the thing about this pen is that it is it's called Omniflex. So it is like a flex snip pen. It comes in three different uh, uh, finishes, the uh, nib. Alright, so it says that the nib is supposed to let you uh, vary the width of lines with uh, light pressure but you should use very light pressure because if you use heavy pressure it's gonna cause the you know the nip tins to like come out like spread out and it might damage it so yeah it seemed like they actually have it uh, this is probably uh, seemed like it's designed um, since a long time ago and uh, yeah it says like oh okay here's the uh, instructions on how to refill the pen so there's two ways there's a pen converter that's provided in a pen and there's also how you can use their cartridge I think they use a standard cartridge all right so this is this is how what they have uh, mentioned uh, yeah there's a slight difference in the in the in the converter which I'll go through later so this is the pen can you see how beautiful this is this is a rainbow rainbow pen I, I don't know I'm sucker for for colors for pens or things that are like that so it's it's the finish is it's smooth metal finish um, and the colors, rainbow color, um, it, it goes from the cap, right, to the whole body, right, to the end. And there are certain uh, of these lines here that are actually just your normal stainless steel colors. And it um, caps this way, like you have to twist, open it. And this is the special flex knit, Omni flex knit. And this is, uh, it says here, Omni flex, all right. Um, and if you open it, so I, I really quite like that they even extend it to the, the, the rainbow color until here, the, the thread. And when you unscrew it, all right, this is the converter. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a twist converter. And in, rather than hope, like pulling it out, you actually have to unscrew it. So this is what I see different, right? This is different from what we see like from the uh, Japanese brands. Uh, most of the Japanese converters, you have to push, push it in. So this is a very quick uh, review of how this pen um, actually looks. I would actually maybe do a very quick writing in a, in a while. And inside the box, you also have two standard converter. I think these are the black converters. Okay, standard. Oh, this is blue. It's probably black. Yeah, so there's a blue and there's a black converter on either side. And uh, there's this limited lifetime warranty card. Okay. And here are the other other pens that they have. So they're very smart, right? They they sell you the pen, and they sell you. Uh, they also included like a collection guide so that you can buy more pens. And I'm particularly interested in the Mark Twain Crescent Filler. Okay, especially this one, the Demo Limited Edition. So, yeah, very smart, and it got me hooked. They also have uh, at the back um, some of the history of the Conklin pen. All right, so a. Uh, Apparently, the Crescent Filler is prob it's like their, their uh, flagship pen or that what they are known for. So definitely something that I will get probably uh, when I, I see it, um, when I see the demo version. Because I really like demo pens and this is something that I want to, to get. So yeah, so let's um, put this to the test and, and let's see how it performs in writing. Hi, so I'm going to do a writing sample, a very quick writing sample and um, the paper that I'll be using is the Rodia uh, dot book okay I am going to write uh, the pen okay so the name of this pen is the Conk Lin all right pardon me for my ugly handwriting
So normally what I do is I will do this kind of uh, maneuver, right? And I'll do this. So this is uh, not a very flex. There is a little bit of flex. It is not your your true uh, flex knit kind of thing. Okay. So this is how it actually writes. And let's write a small little like uh, alphabet. Okay. So I'm just trying my best to. So you do see there is a little bit of that that tip that flex, but it's not a a very. It doesn't have a lot of line variation. So this is what I have. Um, I do see like certain parts, for example, like here, the downstroke is actually, you can actually get it um, to be a little bit thin. And if you apply a little bit of pressure, it gets a little bit thick. But other than that, um, I don't think it is very, very flex. So let's try um, the, let's see how, 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 how we can vary the, uh, the writing, all right? So let's start with the back. So this is, this is writing with the back of the nib, all right? And let's try to see, like, let me just put a little bit more pressure. Just put in a little bit more pressure in there. So this is no pressure at all. Some pressure. More pressure. A lot of pressure. A lot, lot, lot of pressure. Okay, so it's starting to railroad. So this is as much as I can do. And if it's comfortably, comfortably is probably this. So I think it probably gives you about 50% more. Uh, thicker line width, yeah. Before it real real roads, so yeah, I, I quite like. I think this pen is not your crazy flex pen. Uh, it gives you a little bit of flex, but not a lot. All right. Um, so if you're looking for a crazy flex pen, this is not a crazy flex pen. This is a a, a pen which is your normal steel pen, knit pen that that gives you a bit of uh, variation. So it's good for writing, quite very smooth. I like the weight, so, and I like how beautiful this pen is. It is quite heavy, um, but it feels comfortable um, and it feels sturdy. If you really like this kind of like uh, multicolored rainbow kind of pen, um, yeah, do, do get this. So I guess that's my short review, uh, my first impression of this uh, Hong Kong Clean Durograph uh, rainbow pen with the Omni Flex Snip. So yeah, if you like this video, if you have enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you like this kind of uh, content, do subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next first impression uh, video, alright? Bye!